controversy, a controversy that was largely part of the House of Representatives is now about to take center stage in the Senate, but not without strong opposition from the President's allies. Our political correspondent, Shetty Antonis, has that vote. Last night's successful push by Senator Pancolo Lacson to revive the investigation of the Hello Garci controversy in the Senate faced strong resistance from administration senators led by Richard Gordon. The laws, particularly against wiretapping, on the use of illegally seized evidence, any communication or spoken word, or the existence, content, substance, purport, effect, or meaning of the same, or any part thereof, or any information therein contained, obtained or secured by any person in violation of the preceding sections of this act, shall not be admissible in evidence in any judicial, quasi-judicial, legislative, and I underscore legislative, or administrative hearing, or investigation. His colleagues from the minority vacated their seats one by one as he questioned the reopening of the probe. They only returned when it was time to debate on the matter. If there's anyone who should be uh, held to court because she broached it the first, it should be Secretary Bunye. Because he was the one who told the, uh, the media, Mr. Pre uh, Mr. President, that he has two tapes of the conversation. We crafted the law, we should be aware of it, and there can be no excuse for violation of it. Ignorance of the law does not excuse, excuse anyone. It was Senator Chis Escudero who moved for the convening of the Senate Committee of the Whole to reopen the Hello Garci case. Escudero, along with neophyte Senators Noynoy Aquino and Alan Peter Cayetano, also led the impeachment case against President Arroyo for two straight years, when they were still congressmen. But after a lengthy debate, the Senate leadership decided to take it slow. Mr. President, after conferring, we provided that the Rules Committee will convene on Tuesday uh, in the morning, Mr. President, uh, at 10 o'clock uh, to discuss the matter. A number of administration senators questioned the credibility of former ESAF agent Vidal Doble. Then. First, because he was just bribed by former NBI director Samuel Ong to wire talk. And second, because he had earlier recanted his statement. So this would be a witness for sale. Normally that's what happens. His credibility becomes very low once he keeps on shifting from position to position in a criminal case. So this will become a question of credibility. But Doble was unaffected. <laughs> Uh, wala na akong pakialam doon. Basta ang importante, mapanggit uh, ko ang totoo. He said he just wants to clear his conscience. For two years, he said, he kept on blaming himself for chickening out following the abduction of his family. At uh, mga dati kong kasama sa isap, uh, humingi ako ng paumanin. Pero kailangan gawin ko to. Dahil uh, alam naman nyo na Yun ang totoo. Uh, sa pamilya ko, sana maitindihan nila ako na dapat manaig uh, palagi yung katotohanan. Doble says he has nothing to gain for coming out again. But this early, Lacson already has plans for him. Mayroon na akong pinaplano para sa kanya. Pagkatapos ng lahat ng ito, hindi ko naman siya pwedeng pabayan. Sherry Ann Torres, ABC News. Overseas, some towns in Mexico remain flooded and without electricity as Hurricane Dean leaves the country. In Argentina, the dramatic rescue of an eight-year-old from a freezing stream. Ina Zara with the details. Residents of Chetumal Town in Mexico start cleaning up after Category 5 Hurricane Dean swept across the Yucatan Peninsula. Damage was not as devastating as initially feared. But streets were left flooded, trees toppled, and rooftops torn from buildings. The town is still without electricity. The storm has weakened, but forecasters warn that rolling winds and rains were still a threat. A dramatic rescue of an eight-year-old boy unfolded in Argentina. Gustavo Quintana was watching a motor car race when he fell into a freezing stream and was immediately dragged under the layer of ice and out of sight. A team of waterway police attending the car rally went to his rescue, pounding away on the ice to break up an opening. Gustavo was immediately revived and rushed to the hospital. He remains in stable condition. A 
summary of a 2005 CIA report on the September 11 attacks has been declassified. It says former CIA chief George Tenet failed to follow through on his 1998 declaration of war against Al-Qaeda and that counterterrorism funds were diverted for other uses in the years before the 2001 attacks. The report also recommended sanctions against Tenet and other CIA officials. But agency director Michael Hayden rejected the recommendation and called the report's findings flat wrong. Ina de Leon Sara, ABC News. In our lifestyle check, skirting through traffic is much more manageable with this lightweight motorbike from BMW. G650X motor is a cross between a motocross and a road bike. You have the feel of a motocross bike with the feel of a sport bike. This one is equipped with magnesium wheels and road tires. Safety is one of the concerns of uh, BMW. That's why the motor is also equipped with an ABS brake system. For better handling of the G650X motor, this one is equipped with an inverted fork. This one is ideal for our country, a tropical climate, where it has a water-cooled system, the uh, oxygen sensor that is controlled by a computer that uh, controls the air and uh, fuel mixture. Similar to a motocross bike, this one has a bench-type seat. Although it may provide minimal comfort, it is designed with a narrower seat. We also have the newest addition, the inverted port for better suspension. Compared to conventional motorcycle design, this G650X has its uh, gas tank made of plastic and situated below the seat to have a low center of gravity. The G650X motor is a single cylinder engine with a displacement of uh, 650cc. It has an output of uh, more than 50 horsepower that can go as fast as 200 kilometers per hour. The feel of the G650X motor is you're uh, on top of a very high bike but with the agility of a road bike. For those who want an athletic and energetic ride, the G650X Moto is for you. Here again are the top stories for today, August 22. President Arroyo blames so-called titans of aid for reviving the Garcia controversy. Fibon sees no cause for concern over the series of earthquakes. Differences among officers may have triggered the relief of the chief marine commander in Basilan. On a lifestyle check, a lightweight answer to heavy traffic in Metro Manila. Philippines and our viewers on the Boy Channel, thanks for watching. I'm Martin Andanar, and this is ABC.